you know when your face is all like you can't see and then you're trying to find the cap and you put it back on and then there's like makeup on your thing because you were touching it I just need to pause to say that that, that was pretty cool here just go back 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 What's going on guys? My name is Essence and welcome to my channel or welcome back. If you're back, we do fun things here and today I'm reviewing Fenty Skin. Okay guys, so we know this is a natural hair channel and whatnot, but I really wanted to know if Fenty Skin was just like another celebrity gimmick kind of line or if it was good for the average girl. So my skin is dry to normal skin. I don't really struggle with acne, but I get some pimples here and there. I'm like I'm pretty much in the average kind of game right there but for the most part I would say that my skin is dry to normal I just wanted to review Fenty Beauty just to see if it was good for the everyday girl like you and me is it gonna work that's, that's basically what I want to know what's up guys future essence here I just want to let you know that I cleaned my mirror right before filming this video like I mean seconds before I filmed this video and it wasn't until editing that I noticed that there's paper towel fluff on my mirror showing up on my jet black shirt so I just want to let you know it's not dirt it's paper towel fluff enjoy the video so the line comes with the total cleanser it also comes with this serum called fat water and lastly, it comes with this moisturizer, which also has an SPF 30 in it. Another reason that I really wanted to get this line is because I really wanted to try the moisturizer. I really want to start incorporating sunscreen more in my routine, but not a sunscreen that's going to leave my face purple. You know what I'm saying? So I specifically wanted to do this on a day when I'm wearing makeup because I wanted to see if the cleanser was actually going to work. As of right now, I use Neutrogena's Deep Clean Cleanser and I love this stuff. It comes with salicylic acid in it and it takes my makeup off quite well. I don't like cleansers where I feel like I still need to do all this stuff after, but I do believe that double cleansing is really important and I try to do that as often as I can. If you don't know what double cleansing is, it's pretty much cleansing first with an oil to remove all of your makeup and then going in with a gel cleanser preferably or like a foam cleanser or something like that um, to actually double cleanse. So you're basically washing your face twice. So what I'm gonna do is I'm not gonna double cleanse today. I just wanna see how good this cleanser is gonna work on its own. And then if I feel like I have too much makeup or things still on my face, I'm gonna go back in with my normal cleanser. Okay, so before I start, for those of you who don't know, I do live in Canada and when I got this stuff, I had the unfortunate privilege to pay duties on this stuff so i just want to let you know if you're canadian sometimes companies will charge you duties sometimes they won't which is super annoying but i just want to let you know i had to pay 23 dollars in duties for this stuff which puts the total up there at the end of the day for all this stuff so just letting you know if you're canadian be ready to possibly pay duties when you're receiving your products okay let's get into washing the face I was just gonna go ahead and like wash my face and speed through this whole thing, but I just realized this is not like a twist off cap. It's a, you just open the cap like, it's not even a cap, it's not a lid, is my point. You just twist it, it clicks. I don't know why I like that. It clicks and then you just dispense it in your hand. I love that. You know when your face is all like, you can't see and then you're trying to find the cap and you put it back on and then there's like makeup on your thing because you were touching it. I just need to pause to say that. That, that was pretty cool. Back, back to washing my face. <laughs> smell to it it's a, um, like a fruity I can't even I can't even describe the smell it's like a, a warm it's like a warm it's like a warm sweet smell and it's also very like jelly like but also creamy so it's kind of like almost sticky which is making me feel like it might have a good chance to take my makeup off um, it's like a creamy jelly kind of thing. Let's finally do this thing. I'm 
I'm gonna do now is go in with a cotton round and I'm gonna just swipe around my face and see if it got off all of my makeup. I think it actually did a really good job of getting most of my makeup off. So just gonna kind of go around here and see nothing. I don't have anything there. Yep, no makeup. It got all the makeup off my face. Um, it's completely good. I'm gonna go around my eyes. Usually around the eyes, I'll get some. Yeah, but it's 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 nothing. Wow, wow, everything is gone. I got a little bit, like just a little bit of mascara on this one, like just a tiny bit. But that's, but it's nothing. Like I got. Usually when I'm using my regular cleanser, I still have a little bit more makeup around my eyes if I don't double cleanse. So just, just a preface, I usually double cleanse with an oil first. I work that oil in all over my face and my eyes. Then I go in with my gel cleanser and I wash the rest of my face. And I usually don't have any makeup left over. But for this sake, we only cleanse once just to see how that cleanser would work. And all my makeup is off my face. So I brought my white towel. I usually pat dry my skin after and I won't do it if I have any makeup. I don't play with my white towels. But all the makeup is off my face. So we're good. On the back here um, it says hyper clean skin soft without, without stripping or drying which is very very true. Right now my face feels totally fine. It doesn't have that you know, you know that tight feeling after you wash your face? It doesn't have that. And I have dry, dry skin. So usually after I dry my face, it feels a little bit like super dry. It doesn't do that. So um, without stripping or drying is accurate. Daily cleanser and makeup remover in one. Definitely remove my makeup for sure. And then you can peel up the slide label here to see all of the ingredients. I'm no dermatologist or esthetician or anything like that in case you didn't know. But like, just in case someone tries to at me or something like that, um, I'm none of those things. But I can just talk about my experience and how I feel now, and I really like it. There are two um, skincare experts, dermatologists, esthetician people that I really, really like here on YouTube who did review this. If you want to go check them out, I highly recommend them. I'll put the channels here on the screen for you. One is called Mix Makeup by Susan Yara, and the other is The Golden RX, and I don't remember her name, but both of those girls, I, I really like them, and they both um, did say that the actual, the actual ingredients on here are pretty good. So if you want to see the science, the ingredients, and stuff like that, definitely go check them out. Okay, moving on to the serum, which I'm really excited about. I'm going to put the description here on the screen for you, but the serum says instantly refines the look of pores, reduces the look of dark spots, evens skin tone, and fights shine without stripping skin. Okay, so shine, as I said, I don't have a problem with shine because I'm generally a little bit more dry. Um, pores, I don't have a huge problem with pores. Again, like I have pretty average skin and reduces the look of dark spots is actually very interesting because I do have... I do have some dark spots on my skin, they're not a huge problem for me, but that is something that I would only see after time um, using this product, so I'm not 100% sure about that claim. So, but I do want to see how it's going to make my skin feel after, so I'm going to take this label off. And it's another one of those clicky tops, which I like. So there's no lids and stuff, I, I really like that, you just kind of... Like you just click the top and you just take it out. So here we go. Okay. So just kind of you have to squirt it a little bit. It has the same kind of smell like the cleanser, but probably even more faint. You can't really um, feel it. On my fingers, it feels very watery, which is good for a serum. If you're not quite sure about how serums work and stuff like that, this is what penetrates the most into your skin even more than your moisturizer so you want it to be like thin enough to get into your pores so I'm just gonna go ahead and apply that So the serum 
serum. Let's talk about that a little bit. So the way that I use this serum is the way that I apply all serums that I would ever use. I usually kind of just distribute it throughout my face and then kind of pat it in. Now what I really like about this is that I can feel that it's going in my skin. It's not sitting on top at all, it's gone. Like my face looks, you can see here that there, it doesn't look like there's anything sitting on top of my skin. My skin doesn't look oily or nothing like that. Does my skin look like my pores were instantly refined? Not necessarily. I think it just went right in and it did what it was supposed to do. So from my point of view so far, I actually really like the serum. I think I like it a little bit more than the one that I use now, especially for summertime. It's not as um, oily or anything. It went right in my skin. That's what you want from a serum, to go right in your skin. So after your serum, you follow up with your moisturizer. So everyone has been raving about this moisture because of this two-step insert system thing. I wanna know, like, is it that cool or not? So I'm gonna go ahead and open it for you. Okay, so people who are environmentally conscious, I'm not, but for people who are environmentally conscious, um, I think they would like the fact that this is refillable. So this right here is the actual moisturizer. Um, to be honest, it's a little bit, it's a little bit thin, you know what I'm saying? It's a little bit scanty. Um, especially if it has like a sunscreen in it, you're gonna be using it constantly. Um, it's a little bit thin, like I would want a little more product out of here. It has 50 milliliters in it. My normal moisturizer, which is the Avito Positively Radiant, it has an SPF 15 in it. It has 120 mils. Yeah, so like, wow. Almost triple the amount of this. So the downside with this is I would probably have to top up more. So not really a fan of that. But anyways, it says the purpose is sunscreen. The directions say apply liberally 15 minutes before sun exposure. Use a water resistant sunscreen if you're swimming or sweating. Reapply at least every two hours. So if it's a day where you're just wearing this moisturizer, it's recommending that you apply it every two hours to get that, um, to get the full effects of the SPF. Reapply every two hours. So, now, you take your little moisturizer thing and you put it in the cartridge here. Ah, it just clicks in, super easy, and it doesn't feel like it's gonna fall out or anything like that. However, Having this for your moisturizer really makes it feel like you have a lot of moisturizer, but you really don't. Anyway. Oh, cool. So you see how this is like that clicky top? The bottom of this makes the moisturizer go up and down like that. It's just, it's just fun. It's nothing crazy. It's just fun. I just like it. All right, so let's go ahead and use the moisturizer. You know when it's new, you gotta pump, pump, pump forever. Oh my gosh, come out, is it? There we go. Yeah, I actually took a lot. Out of the cleanser, the serum, and the moisturizer, I would definitely say this one is the strongest and the serum is the weakest in terms of the smell. So let's go ahead and put this on my face. Again, like I put so much. <laughs> more on my hand I put way too much I pumped way too much out um, I really like the moisturizer it's really it just feels really nice it's nothing special to be 100% honest with you it's not super special but I, I like how nice it feels on my skin uh, I like how smooth it feels on my skin I do like the smell of it I do like the scent if you had oily skin I don't think that you would like this because after I put it on I could see like a shine right here which I'm not mad at but if you already have oily skin, I don't think that you would like that. I think that might be an oil slick for you. So that's just something to keep in mind. Anyway, so that's it. I'm now gonna have to turn the rest of that moisturizer into a hand lotion because that sucked. I like it. I'm not mad at this purchase at all, I must say. The serum, um, I'm gonna have to use it a little bit more often to see if it's gonna refine my pores and lighten my dark spots and all of that jazz. According to the ingredients in it, it is supposed to do those things, so. If that's something you're interested in, I definitely recommend it. Um, the cleanser, I don't necessarily feel like you need this cleanser in your life to change your life, to change your game, but it does remove all of the makeup and it does do exactly what it says. It left my skin feeling soft and clean without stripping or drying, so I really like this. And in terms of the moisturizer, I love the way that it made my face feel, but 
is small. It's a small little thing. So as much as I'm really excited about wearing SPF and having SPF in my um, rotation and stuff like that, I just wish I had more of it. I do love the way that it made my, my face feel but I just wish I had more. So anyways guys, to wrap this up, I feel like the Fenty skin line is great for the average girl. That's just what I wanted to do. I want to come on here, girl to girl, average face to average face. You know what I'm saying? Like, does, does it work like on the real real? I definitely do recommend it. Um, take everything that I said with a grain of salt, apply it to your life with your skin needs in mind. Okay guys, so I am about to wrap all of this up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, why? Why? It's okay though, there's still time. Go ahead and subscribe to my channel right now. It's free and it's fun. So go ahead and subscribe so you don't miss another natural hair video or another beauty video from me. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.